Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, we have a mix of rain, sleet all day. It's not going to stop. Commutes messy both ways. Be careful as you're driving. And we top out at 37 today. Should be a lot better for tomorrow. So Yes, we've gone, what, from almost 70 to 37. Not good. Yeah, and you are paying the price, I understand. Well, I think with the weather, whenever there's a storm or rain or whatever, uh, yeah, my, my right sinus, the deviated side, is uh, throbbing this morning. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, back to the doctor we go. You got to oh, get the old uh, checkup, surgery. Candy. No, no, I had a checkup recently at my doctor. My blood is good. Everything was good. I'm low on vitamin D, I told you that. You know, I think everyone's low on vitamin D. Yeah, I started my supplements again because I did slack off, and uh, that's it. I have them sitting right where I can see them now so I don't forget. Uh, but everything else was good. My blood pressure, everything. I'm not diabetic. I don't have, you know. I'm good. Very good. I am uh, I am happy for you, Candy. Yes, me too. Absolutely. Couple of things before we get into this article, I need a woman's opinion on this, oh. Candy. Um we have of course the birthday show at Patchog Theater less than 3 weeks out, patchogtheater.org. We have a lot to talk about there. We will uh, we will get to all of it in the next few days. Uh, our two shows so far that we've announced at Long Island Community Hospital Amphitheater, Sam Hunt, Chris Young, both on sale. And you still have till March 29th to sign up for that flyaway, the CMA flyaway. We're going to put you up four nights at the Omni in Nashville and four nights at the football stadium. I need to get away. That's the kind of vacation I should be doing. Yeah, it is crazy. By the way, CMA Fest uh, is about 200,000 country fans descend upon Nashville for four days in 100 degree heat. It is... It is a little crazy down there for CMA. Yes, it, yeah. it's true. Uh, Candy, I need your take on yes. this. So a woman and her husband are planning on having a baby. All right. All right. They both earn about $175,000 a year. That's pretty good. They're not legally married. They did a commitment ceremony two years ago. Everything is separate. Finances, everything split 50-50. They both pay their end of the mortgage. Like, they they are a real, you know, family. They both want kids and everything. Right. But they are but keeping, they've separated right. their finances, which it's, is not the worst thing in the world. Okay, here's the, here's the catch. The woman, you know, they both want a baby. Right. The woman says she wants the, the husband, if you call him that. They're, again, I don't know. They're not legally married. She wants the guy to give her a lump sum of $50,000 to have a baby because her company will only give her X amount of maternity leave and X amount of dollars, and she needs fifty grand to cover the, the money she's not going to make. How do you feel about this? Wow, they really, those two, it sounds like a business, not a relationship they've got going on. Yeah, certainly does, doesn't and it? And what do we know about this? And what does he think about it, the uh, the soon-to-be ex? Well, it doesn't say his thoughts. It, this has been posted online. People online are split about it. Some think, you know, my first glance was like, huh, she might have a point. If you're looking at this as a business decision, some people think it's fair request that they've kept the finances separate so she should be paid. And it's, you know, some people think, wow, this is like a business. What is what's going on here? Um, she found out that, you know, the time she takes off, she's not going to make what she's supposed to make. And she right, wants which, to, which many, you know, right. women who have had children go through. I went through it twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It does take a little bit out of your pay. Uh, they don't give you, I don't know anywhere that gives you your whole salary when you take maternity leave, but okay. So what do you think? Should he pay her to have a baby? I think it's kind of sad in my world uh, to start a, a family like that with a baby. I mean, what are they going to do? Split the costs of the pediatrician? Uh, split the cost of babysitting? Uh, just all well, these things come to mind. Is it a family or a business? I think they need to decide. I'm not asking you if they're going to be together 10 years from now. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they need to decide: are we I a family know. or are we a business? Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting though. But uh, I think both sides. Look, it is. Um, I don't know even what the word. It does. It just feels feels nasty. Doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't give me warm and glowing. Oh, they're having a baby and becoming a a little family. 
It's right. like, what are we going to fight over next? Who buys the sneakers? But, and who has a say in what? Well, it's then, crazy. then in the next breath, I say to myself, well, if everything is kept separate and she's losing X amount of dollars, well, he's got to kick in, doesn't he? I would think they're already, I mean, do they live together, yes? Yeah, the everything. They have a commitment ceremony, so, yes. Right. So what? She buys her own food, he buys her his, uh, or they share food. I mean, you know, you know what they that? need to do? You know what they need to do? They need to go talk to uh, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn, right? Yeah, Is they'll that... show them how it's done. Right? I don't think Goldie said, you know, I'm having a baby. Give me the money I'm going to be losing while I, I'm pregnant and raising a child. Well, it's an interesting story, nonetheless. It's interesting, but cold. Very uh, cold. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is very cold. Is for uh, for sure. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.